Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on Ragnarok. Today, we are going out to tame a horse. We already have Sherbert. Sherbert was the first horse that we tamed back in episode one, but we're gonna need an upgrade. We're definitely gonna need to get some better horses up in here. What I wanna do is I wanna try and tame a couple decent level horses and hopefully find like the best stouts between all of them and then just try to breed that into the ultimate horse and then I want to try and stack a crap ton of mutations for weight into that horse as well and, and maybe health as well we'll have to wait and see but yeah that's the plan I want to get a really good horse for traveling it's gonna be tanky and it's gonna be extremely good at carrying pretty much everything um, I want a huge amount of weight on this horse so that is the aim today guys we are uh, we're over at the farm of course if you guys didn't know and uh, of course we, we have so many things popping up here all the time it's crazy um, we just have so much plans for this area. To be honest, this is probably gonna be one of my favorite little... I wouldn't even call this an outpost, it's more of just like an area. I guess you could call it an outpost because technically like it's producing stuff for us. We can spawn here and it's safe, somewhat safe I guess. It's not really actually that safe to be honest. Maybe we'll have to sort out that eventually and uh, soon enough we'll be building like a little farmhouse for us to actually spawn into and, and live in if we want to. We can keep some like stuff in there for each of us if we want to like keep some teams or whatever over here some gear but um yeah I'm really excited to see what this place can look like once it's all done because we have just so many plants for this area it's it's great I really do like it it's, it's very aesthetic <laughs> I like it anyway let's head out and look for some horses um of course we're in the highlands so they spawn pretty much everywhere I mean I actually earlier on I was running around to see if I could find any decent levels and I just kept finding those Easter horses and I just want to say straight off the bat I'm not looking for an Easter horse at all we might find some really cool looking ones I'll leave them I won't kill them uh, if we do find some high level or low to you if we do find some high level guys we won't kill them um, I should probably just like not go near him actually um, I just want to go ahead and just check on all the gigas as well so this one is still in here um, I got a lot of people mentioning um, in that video where we actually trapped all the gigas. That one came out yesterday for me. Um, of course, that was recorded days ago. We uh, we do know that eventually they'll probably despawn, um, but for now it's it's gonna be like a it's gonna be okay. I think that they're gonna stay inside those pens. I want to go over here and just check on the other one. We have one down by the coast. I checked on him earlier and he's still in there. Um, the only one that's kind of like just despawned or disappeared or whatever is the one up on the hill that way but I just want to check on this one really quick um, yeah that one over there is gone somehow I don't know like he didn't even he didn't escape he just completely like despawned whereabouts is this one? Oh, there he is yeah he's still inside yeah okay he's still inside his pen for a second there I thought he was getting out but no he's okay what are you <gasps> look at that yellow sheep oh my god <laughs> I kind of want to tame that Oh man, alright. Well, there's some creatures that I will probably get Easter colors in, and then there's just some creatures that I just don't want them in. I want to get cool mutations on a lot of creatures. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind just taming a cool looking sheep, because I'm probably not going to do a huge amount of sheep breeding in this series. We've got some nice trikes around here too. I'm looking for some high level trikes eventually as well, because we want one of those over here um, just to kind of run around on. So let's go back up here and check over there for some horses where we saw that 66. I find that this area over here is like great for the horses. Like they just spawn um, down by the beach up here. I think sometimes you can even find them over the other side of the lighthouse a little bit. And we got one right here. What level are you? Got 174. That's awesome. Uh, we could probably go ahead and tame him. What are you up there? Level 60. Not, not too good. That 174 is a nice color. I'm also kind of looking for some, um, I don't know, some kind of cool, cool looking color mutations today. We'll see. What are you? Did we already check you? You're like the 60. Oh no, you're the 180. You kind of look like the 66. Or was he black? There he is. Is that him? Yeah, no, he was kind of like a black color. All right. Yeah, so we have a 180 and a 174. That's awesome. Any more? Let's check down here. I just want to kind of scope them out first. Uh, I don't see any down there. Sometimes you can find them down there. Not all the time, though. You don't see any down there at all. All right. So we have that 180 and a 174. Possibly some more around here that I just haven't spotted. Uh, this. Oh my God. Where are you? There you are. You're the 180, right? Yeah, you are. It's a male. Nice. Oh, we need a we need a male and a female. What gender is this one? Uh, you were 60. Yeah. Okay. Where's the 180 or the 174? Male, damn, they're both males. Okay, we need a female. 
So I might go ahead and tame these guys. I mean, man, I I don't really want to have to like just run around on the horse on camera for you guys. So I hope you guys won't mind if I just come back once they're tamed because horse taming is honestly frustrating to watch. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind doing it. It's like, it's okay, but man, I don't like editing and like seeing, oh, it's all inside here. I don't like editing and seeing the horse taming because it's not even, it's, the horse is like running all around the place and it's just crazy. It's not even fun to watch. We have a crap ton of carrots. This, um, this S plus gardener is grabbing up all of our crops whenever they grow. So as you can see, this is what we've gotten so far. It's crazy. Um, I could probably go ahead and just grab some of these and then this stack here. Nice. So, um, and she requires beer to actually fuel her, so we got a couple beers in here. We're producing that over at the, um, the Redwoods Outpost, and eventually here we'll probably build some sort of, like, mini brewery area. Um, so yeah, that will be a thing. But yeah, I, I think I'll just come back once these horses are tamed, because it's, it's not even fun to watch, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. But guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoyed this video. I forgot to mention that. Really does help me out, though. Um, so you're the 180. Nice. All right, here we go. Okay, so it's a while later now, and we have three really good horses. So this is that 174 that we saw earlier. This one has some pretty decent health. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it's the highest health out of all the horses that I tamed. This one here has insane stamina. 4K. It came out from the team with 4k stamina that to that point like you don't actually need to pump any stamina you're not going to ever need more than 4k no matter what so that's really awesome and then in terms of melee and uh weight in terms of like all the horses that we got this seemed to be the best that i could actually get so uh we've got 408 on the melee which is pretty good and then the weight starts at uh 623 so it's not the best possible weight but it's the best that i could get out of all the horses so i'm pretty happy with these stats we're gonna begin our breeding now i'm gonna start breeding this one with this one so i want to get or should i start with these two actually Hmm, yeah, that might be a better idea if I was to start with this horse and this horse here So I want to get that health and that stamina together on the same horse And it needs to be a female so it can breed with this one And then after that we're gonna recreate that get two of the exact same one And then we're just gonna start breeding for some mutations and eventually when we get some we're gonna start stacking them So yeah, I'm gonna bring these two into one of these pens Maybe this one over here and uh, we're just gonna get them breeding She's just like asleep inside the other pen right there. That's awesome. All right So I'll bring you guys back in a little bit once I do all that good stuff and we have the ultimate horse for breeding Ooh. Hey, well, we just got a mutation here and I've already checked out its stats. It has a weight mutation Which is exactly what we need. Um, so what how much did that weight go up by actually? What is your weight? 23 37 so it went up by 14 Wow Damn, the weight does not go up very high on these guys. But I mean, it's just going to mean that he's going to have like a higher weight after we start leveling. He's going to get like more per level, so that will be pretty good. Hopefully we can get extreme weight on this guy though. Um, Like obviously this is just one mutation. Another one on top of that should bring it to around, what is that, like 651. If we can get five or six weight mutations, which would be extremely difficult to do, five or six weight mutations onto that, and that's going to be probably close to like 700 ish so i don't know it could be worth it it could definitely be worth it um and also in terms of color he's got a really cool red uh kind of stripes on the back here which is what i really like um damn i kind of want to use that name we had a name for a horse what was it again oh it was in the survival plus series the very first survival plus series we had a horse and it had red stripes kind of like this what did we call it oh, achilles achilles Yes, that is the perfect name for the horse. Yes, we're gonna call this one Achilles. Um, I don't know what other colors we might get. Um, in terms of like what I think should go with this red though, I think maybe something dark. Even this kind of orange color right here is not too bad, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what we actually get. Let me go ahead and just pull this guy out. Um, I gotta get him out of there. I'm gonna let the horses just keep breeding for the moment, and um, maybe we might get another horse on top of this one. But uh, when this one here, oh, where's it gone? When this one here is fully grown, we're going to chuck him in there because he's a male. We have three females with all the highest stats in there. And uh, he's going to kind of replace that one as the male in there as like the main breeding male because he has that weight mutation. So that's really cool, guys. I'm, I'm really excited about this. Man, such a cool mutation for color as well. All right, let's keep going. 
Okay, so we've got triplets here. Can I even get the other two? Where's the other one? There you are, buddy. Oh, I had him a second ago. There he is. We've got triplets, and they've got, like, blue socks. Look at them. They've got, like, little tiny blue socks. Uh, what is your... So he's got the weight. What else has changed? It might be an oxygen or something. So that's the mutation, because they do they have the red? They do have the red. Awesome. Okay, so they have... Oh, the, the stamina. Look at the stamina. Hang on. Yeah, that stamina's up. That is a stamina mutation as well as the blue socks. That is awesome. Okay, hang on. I gotta get all three of those out. They're like stuck in that other one's butt, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be a thing. Let me see. Your crimson claw. You move away. You're not gonna eat any of these babies. I'm gonna move you over here. Um, come here, baby horses. Are you guys even, like, are they stuck? Man, you know what? Sometimes... <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> They're all just stuck inside of his butt. Ah, sometimes this happens, like, it, when you get, like, sometimes as well, for some reason, that one and ends up up there. Uh, when you get, like, triplets and stuff, if you have them all, like, in a tiny breeding pan, they just get stuck inside the butt, and it's really annoying. Um, how the hell do I even, okay, you're escaping. 296, is that the right level? No, that is the right level, actually, never mind. Uh, let me just go ahead and just turn you off wandering, we'll get rid of you after. Um... How the hell do I even get these guys out of here? Alright, well, so we have two males and a female. Alright, cool. So anyway, you know what? I'll, I'll try and work on getting these guys out of the horse's butt. So <laughs> we have some really nice mutations so far. That is very nice blue socks. That is awesome. Okay. Come on, guys. Any minute now. Okay, so we have a new mutation. It has a horrible color, but um, it's got another weight mutation on top of its current weight mutation and its stamina mutation. And then we got this guy a couple minutes ago. He didn't get a color. He's like the exact same as the parents. Sometimes they actually don't get a color, but they always get a stat. And in this case, he got a melee mutation. So if we were to breed this one and that one together, then we would have two weights, one melee, and one stam, which is pretty good so far. I definitely want to try and get some more weights in there for sure, so we might have to just do crazy breeding for a couple days here, but um, so far, I mean, uh, the color is not good at all. I don't like that. Also, do you even... Oh, he does have the red stripes. All right. Yeah, I c it's kind of hard to tell if that's red or brown considering the where it, where it is on the, on the horse, but um, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that blue. I think that blue looks so silly. So, um, yeah, let's try and get these guys out of here. Are they coming? Come on, little horsies. All right, here, let me move you. Ah, here they come. Okay, cool. Let me just go ahead. Come on. No, this way. Are they following Miss or not Mystique? Oh, I nearly call that Thyla Mystique. Oh, that's controversial. <laughs> let's uh, bring you out here. Let's keep you right there on follow. And we got the other one. Awesome. Oh, are they breeding in there? Did they just poop one out? They might have. Oh, I see a baby horse. Okay. Hopefully there's a new mutation on that. Uh, let's see, go ahead and there we go. Uh, oh, level 300. This one is mutated. Okay. Uh, what's your mutation? Oh, he's got another melee. Okay. All right. Uh, anything new? He's missing the blue feet, but like he doesn't, he didn't get a color. So, uh, I mean, it's not really worth keeping this one. It's just got another melee mutation. We've already got that here, but man, I got to say this blue is horrible looking. <laughs> I know quite a lot of people will be mad at me for not wanting that blue, but I mean, come on, look at it. It just looks so silly. It really does. It makes the red stripes look crap, but um, yeah. So I don't know exactly what type of color I would want with the blue feet and the red stripes, though. Maybe something like yellow or something like that would look a little bit... I don't know. I just don't like the blue. I don't want, like, a bright green, and I don't want a like that blue like that. I mean, like, a darker blue would be kind of nice, but I think a yellow would be really great. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what we actually get. To be honest, like, by the end of all this, we could have a lot of different full-body mutation colors that we can choose from, and we could just breed our ultimate horse with that horse to just get the ultimate horse with those colors. So it's not really going to be a huge issue in terms of color, but I do want it to kind of look pretty cool. But uh, I'm pretty happy with what we've got so far. All right, I'll see you guys in a long while. Okay, so we've managed to stack a third weight mutation onto this creature, and it is still continuing with the melee right here and the stamina, and uh, we haven't got a health yet, but I wouldn't actually mind getting a health on top of all this. 
Check out the color though. Check out this beauty. I don't even know. This is some sort of like lightish blue and it looks really good with those red stripes and you know what? Like unless we get something fantastic, I think that this is probably going to be it. I might just keep this one aside at the end and just like breed whatever creature we have to have these colors because this looks fantastic. It really does. Let me uh let me try and get this thing to come out here a little bit or maybe even just turn towards us. Is it gonna Here, let me go out here. You gonna come out here a little bit, buddy? Kind of like got wedged up against another horse. Oh man, look at you. You are fantastic. Yeah, this is a really cool horse. Oh man. All right, so, uh, okay, we have a couple choices here. I can continue to keep breeding for the, um, for the, whatchamacallit, for the weight mutation. I can get one more onto this current lot. Then I have to kind of reset things because this number right here uh, is currently at six and five on the next go it's gonna be at like I think it's gonna be at like near enough to 20 or it's gonna be like 11 something or I think it might be like 12 and 5 or something to 12 and 10 I'd say I can't exactly remember how that all works completely but um it's gonna be a higher number so I can do it like twice more before I have to reset and breed our ultimate horse with a horse that doesn't have any mutations at all so that's kind of where we're at right now um I might do Oh, they, okay, I just, yeah, that blue kind of, I was like, <gasps> and then I was like, oh, wait, no, we've already got that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I might actually continue to breed and do, like, one more weight mutation and maybe try to get a health mutation as well, and then obviously get these colors back unless we get something fantastic, but, um, all these horses are just leaving, so I gotta, I gotta start clearing up house here, and, um, let's get this little blue one out here somewhere safe. Okay, so it is actually a long while later. I decided to just kind of skip a couple steps uh, in terms of like showing you guys what I've done. And we have a really awesome horse here. This one has two, um, yeah, two health mutations, one melee mutation, and I believe four, four weight mutations, I think, or maybe it's five. It's hard to tell. I can't even remember. I mean, I could probably go through all the horses here and figure it out, but yeah, that's that's a lot of effort. Either way, this is the uh, this is the horse. It's gonna come out at a 312. We already have a female. I just wanted a male because it kind of seemed a little bit silly to name a female Achilles. Uh, and also, I do want a male and a female just as backup because horses, you know, you're traveling out, it's dangerous. I mean, there's a possibility that this that this horse could eventually die, and I don't want that to happen and to lose all my progress. So I want a male and a female of this horse. And uh, basically, when this one's all grown, I'm gonna breed it with one of the females, and then we're just gonna try and get another male. Um, but yes, this is the horse. We're keeping with those colors. We actually got a couple new mutations. I don't think I showed off this orangey kind of one here. It's it's more like a peachy orange. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, uh, that's it right there. And we also got this uh, yellow stripe mutation, which is blah. But um, I'm really happy with these colors. This is seriously a cool looking horse, and I cannot wait for this thing to be fully grown and to actually get to use it and level it and everything. I mean, like with the imprint and leveling like god damn the the stats on this thing are gonna be insane like the double health is definitely gonna help like a, a good amount i think i want to probably get the health up to like 5k maybe a little bit more um stamina is completely fine like we don't have to do anything to that the melee is fine i probably won't do anything to that so it's pretty much just a little bit of health in and then straight weight i mean like and then maybe some movement speed we'll see I'm not sure about the movement speed because it's gonna be a little bit faster from the imprint but um yeah, that's where we are, guys, right now. We have the really amazing horse. I just got to wait for it to grow up, and then I got to also imprint it in the meantime. And then I want to also go ahead and breed this horse with one of the other ones and do all that good stuff. But after all that is done, I will bring you guys back, and we're going to be testing this thing out and getting some leveling done finally. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so the ultimate horse is here. This is Achilles. This is going to be our main horse for the series, and hopefully it's not going to die. But in case it does, I do have backups inside of this uh, thingy over here. We have ultimate horse number one and ultimate horse number two. And I've labeled them Sin because I, I'm i not going to share the mutations that I got with the other guys. I have given them the tools, if they want to, to go ahead and try and create their own ultimate horses. So I left the high stat ones that we uh, tamed and then bred up. So these are 
the culmination of all of the high stats that we tamed, and uh, I think that's decent tools for anybody who kind of wants to actually get into the horse breeding. So I'm not going to share mine, and that may be a question that a lot of people have, like, hey, why not let everybody have one? Well, I don't know. I kind of think, you know, I put in all the time and I put in all the effort. It should be just me. <laughs> I'm greedy, okay? No, I mean, like, I, everybody else could probably... They probably wouldn't even want one. They probably want to do their own videos instead of just kind of, you know... I guess taking what I've already done and then just trying to like get color mutations on top. I'm not exactly sure if everybody's interested in stats, but I surely am. And I'm really happy with this horse. And I got one final touch. Where is it? There it is. That looks awesome. <laughs> maybe, maybe that blue shouldn't be there. Maybe that should just be red. I thought cyan might be a decent color to kind of go as the, uh, the main color of the saddle along with the red. Because I don't think this color here is cyan. I've seen cyan on creatures, and that's definitely not cyan. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of, like, cobalt blue or something like that. Like a teal, I think. Or maybe it's a little bit lighter than teal. I don't know. But uh, it's, it's a really nice color, and I think cyan is the closest in terms of saddle colors that I can get to it. Unfortunately, there's not very many blue colors that you can get for uh, painting, so that doesn't really work out. It's far too dark, so I might just change that to red instead. So... Anyway, let's go off on this horse for now. Um, oh, also, it's it's uh, imprinted stats. Here they are. So as you can see, I, I don't need to pump in a level to update everything. I actually went out of render distance to come back, and then they updated themselves, which is a glitch if you guys don't know. Um, so we've got 3763 on the health. We want to get that up to 5k at least, I'd say. I want to see how much the weight goes up by in terms of levels as well, but uh, that's going to take a little bit to actually get some levels together. I just got to say this horse is fantastic looking. It really is. And I'm really, I'm a big fan of the um, the red kind of like straps on the saddle. It goes really well with the stripes and everything. So, god damn, we have done a really good job on this horse, and I'm, I'm just extremely happy. And Achilles has returned from Survival Plus Series 1 now to Ragnarok Series 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's go and try and like, kill some stuff. I actually have not seen how much damage these guys actually do, so maybe let's go down here and try and kill some stuff. Um, There's a galley over there. We got a pteranodon over here. Yeah. Maybe we got some stuff over here. What are those, sheep? Nice. All right, let's go ahead and kill some sheep. Oh, it's a green horse. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, wait, he's got cyan on him. Yeah, so that just shows that this is not cyan. Here, let me go up to the green horse. Like, cyan is way brighter than this color. And that horse is now running from us. Awesome. Alright, let me go ahead and start smacking this guy. So we do 78 per hit. That's not bad. How much for the kick? 95. That's not too bad. Uh, I hate fighting Diplos. Why do I do this? Let's go ahead and just kill him. By the way, I do know that the gig is not in the pen anymore. I don't know what happened. Like, I was around this area taming the horses. And I think that the pen might have loaded in before he did, but I was pretty close, so I don't know how he managed to get out, so I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's not a permanent solution to deal with the Gigas, but it definitely works on a temporary level. <laughs> so we, we gotta find whatever Giga spawned in, and we gotta get that thing into a pen eventually. But uh, I can't actually, I don't know if there is one around here at all. I think he might have, like, despawned, because, like, that Giga was around here, and then he just, I guess he's not here anymore. So he's either, like, run off or he's despawned. I'm not exactly sure. Let's go ahead and smack this guy a couple times. Alright, it's a 156, so this should be some decent levels. Do I have my magnifying glass? I could just tell what level. There we go. Just tell if I can hit it with one more arrow or not. Uh, yeah, I can hit it with another arrow. Here we go. Let's make it a good one. Alright, sweet. So now, just a couple more hits and it should be dead. Hey, sweet! Alright. We gotta wait for those levels to pop in. Or maybe they're already in, I'm not sure. Uh, not sure if they're in or not. It might update in a second. Let's go hit some trees, actually. Trees are a pretty good way of leveling. Um, yeah, I guess that those levels did come in. We got 70 XP. That's terrible. All right, great. <laughs> Let's go another one level, I think, will get us up to that number. 5k. Uh, okay, we gotta actually do this. We gotta kick them. 
Um, I find it really awkward kicking the trees with the horses because you have to get them towards the back like this. Oh, I hit that one somehow. There we go. Alright, sweet. So did we get much XP at all? I don't really think we're getting many at all. <laughs> uh, leveling horses is hard, I forgot. Alright, actually, you know what? One thing that we could do is we could probably go ahead and actually make some folders inside of this dude. So, let me see. Um, resources. Um, what else do we have? D -d taming. Um, structures. So I like to make like a little folders inside the horses that I have um, because it kind of makes it a lot easier for storing your materials and everything and um, just kind of organizing them as well because I chuck a lot of crap onto my horses. Um, so we have those three. What else do we usually put? Uh, food. Um, then we also have uh, weapons. Um, ammo, and then we also want uh, tools. I think that's it. Oh, we need one more folder. Crap. <laughs> this folder here is for seeds. If you guys don't know, horses gather seeds pretty well, but uh, it also makes it kind of annoying because when you are actually, oh my god, I love how dramatic sheep are. <laughs> um, when you actually are running around like gathering yourself some berries and such, you gather a crap ton of seeds, and I like to actually throw all of those seeds into a folder so whenever they get gathered, they're not just like out in the inventory like this. So whenever we get some, we'll just chuck them into the folder. Um, so soon enough, because of our stack mod, we're not even going to be able to use the crafting on the horse, which really sucks. I mean, that's kind of a, a really annoying aspect of having the stack mod, the fact that some things like that just won't work at all. But um, I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Horses are great for like crafting stuff with the go and then the stack mod just ruins it, but I, you know what, it's worth it. I still love my stack mods. Uh, I, I'm really happy that we actually decided to use that on here. I mean, like, I know a lot of people don't like it, but we really like it. It makes our life easier. Like, we've been playing Vanilla Arc for ages, and we already have a Vanilla series going, so this is very, very close to Vanilla, just with the stack mod, pretty much, and S+, Plus, which not a lot of people even consider a mod anymore. S+, Plus is not really a mod at all. Um, I mean, soon enough, in the coming months, I assume, it's gonna come to... Oh god, that scared me, I thought that was the Giga. Soon enough, it's, it's S Plus is gonna come to, like, official PC and, like, console and everything, so... You know, everybody's gonna have it, it eventually won't even be a mod, so... I don't know, I don't really consider it to be one. So we pretty much just have a stack mod on here. That's it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So, did I get everything now? Let me see. Seeds, seeds, seeds. Bam, bam. And then we also want to throw... We can throw the berries into here for now. Uh, you'll go into taming. Uh, I'll put you into taming as well. This is a seed. Awesome. Uh, we could probably go ahead and just do that as well. Nice. Oh my god. I love I love their organization. It's so it's so great. Uh, all right, we uh, we got to get some levels on this dude, but there's no really easy way for horses So I might just kind of like leave them around the base for a little bit and then Maybe at some point we'll come back and like show all the levels on them But you know what guys that's gonna be it for today. Um killing stuff on horses is kind of pointless I mean it takes ages, so I'm not really gonna bother I'm literally just gonna leave him around here eventually he'll get himself some levels from just chilling around the place ah <sighs> if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and hit the like button this horse was a lot of work so I would appreciate a like on the video and uh, if you guys want to see more like this go ahead subscribe as well of course and as always I will see you in the next one